last week on Downfall. Chris Molay from Lomita, California, came to the show to solve this kipper problem. Kids in parents' place eating up retirement savings. Hell, oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm trying to get him out of there. As he gets deeper and deeper oh, into no. the game, prices get bigger. So we. The belt gets faster. The risk gets greater. I don't know these. But the million dollar prize gets closer and closer. Chris continues his quest for the cash right now. $10,000. Now to stop the belt and save the prizes, including the scuba gear modeled by Clarence, the crash test dummy, he's looking good tonight. <laughs> the golf clubs over there and prime tickets to a Dodgers game. And of course, the $10,000 at the end of the belt. Now obviously we're not gonna destroy the real prizes, but these replicas still crash, explode like you wouldn't believe. They go all over the edge. If they go over the edge, so do your chances of taking these prizes home okay. with you. During the round, you can guess as much as you like. You can pass. If you pass, the belt's going to move faster, so be careful with that. So if you're ready, let's choose a category for you, Chris. Okay. You got What's Your Sign, Stephen King, Woman Behind the Man, Animated Voices, Grammy Award winners, That's So Cheesy, Most Valuable Players, and Television Families. Take your time. Make the right decision. You need five correct answers, Chris. You got some opinions. Yeah. Uh, let's go with, uh, Woman Behind the Man. Woman Behind the Man, okay. Been married 29 years. <laughs> Absolutely. Behind every good man, there's a better woman, right? <laughs> In this case. Okay, yeah, she says. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the name of a U.S. president. You tell me the first name of the woman that was his first lady. If you get five of the ten first ladies correct, you'll win $10,000. You'll keep your prizes, you'll get these prizes, and you'll avoid your Excellent. downfall. Okay, you understand what's going on? Yeah. Ready for Chris to win some more money? Yeah! Start the belt. Barack Obama. Michelle. Correct. James Madison. Dolly. Correct. John F. Kennedy. Caroline. Uh, 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 yeah. Bill Clinton. Uh, Hillary. Correct. Theodore Roosevelt. Uh, Anna. Cass. Abraham Lincoln. Mary. Correct, John Adams. Uh, pass. Harry Truman. Pass. George H.W. Bush. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I he said pass. I thought he said pass. No. He did. He got ten thousand dollars. Woo! Why aren't you sharing? Oh. Huh? Why aren't you sharing? You're sad oh, you're sad, about, you're sad that Claire's the crash test dummy went I'm over. Still looking at all. <laughs> Let's get the uh, questions that you got wrong. Let's see what the answers were. John F. Kennedy. Jackie O. Jackie. Theodore Roosevelt. Edith. John Adams. Abigail. It's a lot different when the prizes aren't getting. Yeah, ready. when you get. Doesn't matter. More you know, time. You get yeah. a little more time. No you pressure. Still got the golf clubs. You got prime tickets to a Dodgers game. You Excellent. got ten thousand dollars. Back up the bell and put some new prizes on there for you, Chris. I gotta warn you though, the game gets tougher, you have to answer more questions correctly, but if you go for it, you can win $25,000 in cash, Woo! and you keep that money no matter what happens. Beautiful. You go on, $25,000 is guaranteed. Sweet. Before you make your decision. Sweet. That's your catchphrase. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Say that one more time. Sweet. <laughs> Check out what we've added to the belt, Chris. A dining room set, a trip to see the Breeders' Cup, and a riding lawnmower. And of course, at the back of the belt, $25,000 cash. Yeah. So, are you gonna stay, or are you gonna walk away, Chris? I'm gonna stay, I He's think. gonna I'm stay, gonna of stay. course you're gonna stay. <laughs> Let's choose another category. Let's see if we can get you some more money, okay? Okay. All right, here's the categories you got left. Put them up on the screen and let Chris make his decision. I don't know that many Grammy Award winners. That's more pop culture. And I don't know a lot of astrological stuff. So I'm gonna go with uh, animated voices. Okay, animated voices. You like cartoons? 
I hope I remember some. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you the name of a character in an animated film. You tell me the actor that provided the voice for that character. If you can name six out of ten, you'll win $25,000. Keep these prizes and avoid your downfall. Okay. Start the belt. Donkey from Shrek. Eddie Murphy. Correct. Genie from Aladdin. Uh, Pass. Woody from Toy Story. Tom Hanks. Correct. Lightning McQueen from Cars. Uh, uh, pass. Manfred from Ice Age. Man. Pass. Coraline from Coraline. Pass. Captain John Smith from Pocahontas. Pass. Horton from Horton, here's a who. Pass. Z from Ants. Woody Allen. Correct. Barry B. Benson from B Movie. Uh, uh, Jerry Seinfeld. Correct. Genie from Aladdin. Um, uh, panic it is. All right. That one stumped you, Chris. That one stumped you. It's, uh, it's OK is what it is, because yeah. you saved the $25,000, and you hit the panic button. We're going to give you a redo. It's going to cost you, but first, before we go on, let's find out the answers that you missed. Genie from Aladdin, Robin Williams, of course. Lightning McQueen from Cars is Owen Wilson. Manfred from Ice Age. Ray Romano. Yeah, you got it, Ray Romano. Coraline from Coraline, Dakota Fanning. Captain John Smith from Pocahontas, it's Mel Gibson. Horton from Horton, here's a who, Jim Carrey. Oh. Some pretty big names up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's OK. You still got a chance for $25,000. But Chris, you hit the panic button, which means we're going to back the belt up and give you a redo. But you have to put something on the belt, either your supporter or a personal item that you've brought from home. So we need you to make a decision. What are you going to do? I brought my daughter with me today. I just paid for her college education. She's a smart kid. She just graduated. And she knows all the pop culture stuff that I don't know. OK. So I'm going to use uh, my is daughter, she, Keely. Is she a kipper? She's a kipper. She's one of my kippers. OK. And, and why did this kipper make the cut and not the other two kippers? She's smarter. Okay. <laughs> there you go. She's smarter. Let's see if the money Chris spent on a college education <laughs> was worth it when he puts his kipper on the belt. Coming up next on Downfall, stay with us. <laughs> Welcome back to Downfall. Before the break, Big Chris was going for $25,000. But he panicked, and now his daughter, Keely, is on the belt. She's a kipper. Chris, don't forget, Keely can help you as long as she can, but this is very important. She can shout out the answers, but we have to hear them from you. And Keely, you can help Chris as long as it's possible, but once you drop, dear dad is on his own, OK? And okay. he chose you because he said that you were the smartest of the kippers. Is that true? I guess. He paid for my way for college, and I just remember when I was little, he's always, like, whenever I had research projects or anything, I just got my laptop out and just opened it up. I didn't get any books or anything, and I was just like, Dad, tell me about this topic, and just started typing. OK. <laughs> so, so he's my, he's my researcher he's right there. He's your researcher. Chris, what's Kipper mean again? Uh, kids in parents' place eating up retirement savings. And that's me. I'm a Kipper. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about Dad putting you on the belt? Um, I trust him. I know I'm not going to go over. I trust him because he's smart. How is it being hooked up to this thing? Uh, it feels like I'm wearing a giant diaper. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's keep that diaper unsoiled and have you remain on the belt. Chris and Keeley, you have to decide a category. Think about it. Make a right decision. And let's win some money, OK? Let's do it. All right, let's see what's on the board. What's your sign? Stephen King, Grammy Award winners, That's So Cheesy, Most Valuable Players, Television Families. Television All right, guys. Families. Television families. Television families? Yeah, that's, that's the one I think we'll do best with. Yeah. Which one? Television families. Television families. Let's go. Keely, do you think you can help him with this? I hope so. I think so. I think I know more than he does about this. OK, well, you realize right now you guys are now a television family. Yes. I right guess we here are. on Downfall. <laughs> In 2010, TV Guide ranked television's all-time greatest families. I'll tell you the names of two members of a family that made the top 20 on that list. You tell me the name of the show they appear on. If you can name six of the 10 shows, you'll win $25,000. Guaranteed that stays with you no matter what else happens. Excellent. You'll keep <laughs> Keely on the belt. 
and you'll avoid your downfall. Okay. You guys ready? Yep. Got a little family love going on here. Got a little audience love going on here. All right. Start the belt. Opie and Andy. The Andy Griffith Show. Correct. Warden June. Uh, 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 Father knows best. Uh, I don't know, Dad. Uh, pass. <laughs> Becky and Darlene. Sorry. Pass. Jason and Aaron. I don't know these. Pass. <laughs> Tony and AJ. I don't know, Dad. I thought they were going to be two. <laughs> Bobby and JR. Dallas. Correct. Gloria and Edith. All in the family. Correct. Denise and Sandra. These are too old. Pass. <laughs> Gomez and Morticia. The Adams family. Correct. Jennifer and Mallory. Uh, pass. Ward and June. Leave yourself. Uh, 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 Sorry. Uh, Ward June Cleaver. Uh, oh, leave it to Beaver. Leave it to Beaver. Yeah, leave, it to Beaver. Oh leave it to Beaver. Back in, Darlene. Uh, ah. Oh, man. Panic. Ay, 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 ay. All right. That's nerve wracking. Oh, no. <laughs> It's very nerve-wracking, Chris. Not only are you trying to answer the questions to win $25,000, you're worried about Keely dangling over the edge of, of a precipice. I think she was so nervous she didn't say a word. No help. She didn't help you at all. She deserved to go. <laughs> you picked the wrong kicker, Chris. You said she was the smartest. That college education oh, you bought her what a waste did of money. not pay off at all. You should have sent her to television trivia <laughs> school. All right, let's uh, recap the questions that you missed, Chris. Becky and Darlene. Yeah. Roseanne. Oh. Jason and Aaron. The Waltons. Good night, John oh. Boy. Tony and AJ. The Sopranos. Oh. Okay. Denise and Sandra. It's the Cosby Show. Oh, yeah. Man. Jennifer and Mallory. Family Ties. So you hit the panic button for the second time, Chris, which was smart because you saved the $25,000. But in return, you're going to have to put a personal possession on the belt. Can we back the belt up, please? So what did you choose to bring with you tonight as your personal possession? Uh, I'm a big nautical fan. I have a lot of uh, ship memorabilia and stuff like that. And uh, my wife bought me, uh, she hates it, so she'd love to see it go over the edge. But. Uh, she bought me a love in this family. <laughs> <laughs> no, a, a ship model uh, that I just love it—a wooden ship model. Okay. For, for Christmas. Because if you win some big money, you want to buy yourself a. Yeah, I get my own. Exactly. And until then, you're going to build them yeah. yourself. Did you build this? No, 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 no. She bought it for me. Oh, she bought it. I for actually you. I got a kit one time and I paid hundred dollars for it and I opened it up and it was like a big box of sticks. It would have taken me ten years to build one. So she bought me one all assembled. And how long have you had this? Uh, about two years. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's, that's very, uh, very delicate. She's like a lady, she's very yeah. delicate. So if that goes over the edge, it's gonna explode, Chris. Oh yeah, big time. Yeah. Okay. I don't wanna see it explode. I'm sure some I'll have of the, another box of sticks. I'm sure some yeah. of the barbarians here tonight would love to see it explode. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, if you stop the belt before it goes over, you'll get it back safe and sound. Let's pick the next category. Let's win you $25,000. Uh, I have to go with most valuable players. Okay, most valuable players. It's do or die now, Chris. <laughs> it's all or nothing. Okay. Every season, the Associated Press names the MVP of an NFL season. I'll give you a player named MVP. You tell me the NFL team they represented. If you can name six of the MVP's football teams, you'll win $25,000 in cash. Okay. Chris, this is for all the marbles, man. $25,000 in cash that you keep no matter what. That's guaranteed. You cannot lose it. Are you ready? Yeah. Start the belt. Joe Montana. Uh, 49ers. Correct. Peyton Manning. Indianapolis Colts. Correct. Tom Brady. Uh, 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 New England. Correct. LaDainian Tomlinson. San Diego. Correct. Emmett Smith. Dallas Cowboys. Correct. John Elway. Denver Broncos. And you got it. Woo! That's it. Chris, you got it, man. Man. Ugh. Forget about all the sitcom families. Forget the, the sitcom stuff. Stuff. You just got $25,000, man. And you didn't miss one. You saved your boat. Sorry. You did a great job. That's what you should have done right off the bat. You didn't need Lost your your daughter, but saved the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Lost your daughter, but yeah. saved your boat. And you didn't even miss one. <laughs> wow. You're back on track, Chris. We're going to see what happens after this. Are you going to go for the $50,000, Chris? Are you going to leave? Are you going to stay? We're going to find out right after the break, right here on Downfall. Stay with us.
the break, Big Chris completed round three, and now he has $25,000 guaranteed. But he has a big decision to make, Chris. You can walk away with 25 grand and all those wonderful prizes right now, or you can stay and play for the next round. But you'll need more correct answers, and the belt's gonna move faster. If you stay and win, you'll keep the prizes you've already won, and you'll have $50,000. So, woo! <laughs> And you'll also win when we've added to the belt. You've got a pool table and a home sauna with the 50 grand in the back and the fine little plastic case back there. So, uh, do you want to stay or do you want to walk away with $25,000 and prizes? You got no panics left. I know. It's all or nothing at this point forward. Chris, what do you think? Uh, let's go for the 50. He's going for the 50. Hey! Okay. He's a brave man. <laughs> He's We're lost. Stupid, man. <laughs> well, there's a fine line between clever and yeah, stupid, stupid, Chris. <laughs> and we both walk it every day. This category is very important. Take your time and choose the right one so you can walk away with $50,000. Here we go. What's your sign? Stephen King, Grammy Award winners. That's so cheesy. Now, Chris, you nailed most valuable players. Were you saving the sports category? Uh, kind of. Uh, okay. These four are the ones I'm... A little more clear. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. you don't know what the questions okay, will be. So think about it. I would say let's go with what's your sign? What's your sign? Okay. Oy, oy, oy. Traditional Western astrology has 12 zodiac signs. I'll give you a zodiac symbol and you tell me the sign it represents. If you can name seven of the astrological signs, you'll win fifty thousand dollars. Very good. You feel a little bit more confident now? Okay. Okay. I think I can name seven. Common knowledge. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. Start the belt. Fish. Pisces. Correct. Water bearer. Uh, Aries. Uh, uh, pass. Ram. Uh, Sagittarius. Uh, uh, pass. Balance. Libra. Correct. Twins. Gemini. Correct. Crab. Cancer. Correct. Scorpion. Scor uh, uh, Scorpio. Uh, Correct. Uh, Virgin. Uh, Virgo. Correct. Archer. Uh, Archer. A Sagittarius. You're correct. You get me. <laughs> now watch this game off. <laughs> we were so excited that Chris won 50 grand. We high five so hard that his watch came off. <laughs> Woo! And you can replace your Casio with something a little bit more expensive because you just won $50,000. Actually, let me hold on to this for you right now. The pool table's over the edge, but you also got the personal sauna. Chris, you got a windfall. You've been doing great. Let's take a look at the ones you missed, my man. Okay. Water bearer, Aquarius. Ram? Aries okay. is Ram. There you go. But it doesn't Sweet. matter, you got all the money in hey. the your watch broke. It's an exciting <laughs> night here. Back up the belt. I'm going to add some new prizes, but now you've got a really tough decision. You can walk away with $50,000 and a laundry list of prizes, or you can stay and play. For the next round, you'll have to give me eight correct answers out of 10. The belt will move even faster. If you go for it and lose, you're going to lose the prizes. You will keep $25,000, not 50, but if you stay and can win the next round, you'll keep all the prizes you've won, but instead of $50,000, it's gonna double to $100,000. That's a lot of money, Chris. Yeah. This is truly a tough one, Chris. You've got 25,000 for sure, but you're risking $50,000. So are you gonna stay, take a chance, or are you gonna walk away with the sure thing? The audience is listening. What do you think, Chris? Uh, you gonna stay or are you gonna walk away? Uh, I don't feel that confident on the other three categories, so I'm gonna take the 50 grand. Congratulations, Thanks. Chris. Because it's not just 50 grand, there's a whole gaggle of prizes. That's a, that's a smart call, man. Very, very good. Chris, thank you for playing. You did uh -huh. not go over the edge. You stay right I'm exhilarated! What a thrill so ride! Yeah, sweet! It's been a sweet night! Chris just won $50,000 in a gaggle of prizes. We'll be right back after the break with a new contestant who has a chance to win $1 million cash right here on Downfall. Stay with us! So far, no single person has been able to claim the million-dollar prize. 
But coming up next, Robbie Hussein from Marina Del Rey, California, has a secret weapon for twin sister Sam. Will this dynamic duo have what it takes to stop the belt, save the prizes, and win the cash? Don't go anywhere. I'll find you if you do. Right now, I live in Reno Del Rey, and um, 26 years old. Okay. I'm a pharmaceutical sales rep. Oh my goodness. Yes, I am, and uh, I have an identical twin sister, just to give you a little background about myself. Yes, go for it. Identical twin sister, need me. a younger brother who I love dearly. He's at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, and uh, thank you. Oh, and, very nice. Uh, just a little bit, I, I was born in Saudi Arabia, but I grew up here my entire life. So you grew up in California. Did you ever think that someday you'd be here, 100 feet in the air, playing for the chance no, to win no. $1 million, Robbie. <laughs> wow. Let's go over here, get hooked up, and get ready to play some downfall and see how you do, OK? We can't go too close to the edge before we get hooked up. Allie, make me safe. Jamie's going to make you safe, Robbie. OK, we're all set. Thank you, ladies. You ready, Robbie? Yes. I'm so Must excited. play downfall. Right over here. Step around to my oh. office. All right, Robbie, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Yeah? Thanks, Is thanks. it nervous to be up here? Uh, yes, definitely, yes. definitely. Okay. But you know what? I can do this, and I'm really excited about that. And looking down there, I'm not going down there. You're staying up here with me. That's the deal. You're staying right here. There's seven rounds to the million dollars in cash, Robbie. In round one, you'll be playing for $5,000 and these incredible prizes. First up is a year's worth of ice cream. I don't know if you read my mind, but my sister and I live on that. Ice cream's our number one dessert. It's our favorite meal. And if I lose that, you will see some tears tonight. Some big I, tears? I will eat any kind of ice cream. That's my guilty pleasure, and it does not matter. Okay, well, there's a That's huge bowl. Pleasure. You can swim in that bowl of ice cream. Yeah. Next is a new <laughs> kitchen cookware set. And at the very end, a home wet bar. That looks good. And then way down there, in that fancy little plastic case, $5,000 in cash. All right, now, obviously, we're not going to destroy the real prizes. But these replicas still crash and explode and splatter all over the streets of Los Angeles like you wouldn't believe. If the money goes over, Robbie, then you go over as well. Yeah. And we don't want to see that. We want you to stay right here, keep smiling, keep winning money. Let's see what categories are up there, and you pick the one that you want to answer. Okay. Memorable TV moments, oh, Animal no. Kingdom, Rock and Roll Singers, American Legends, Movie Sequels, Organizations, Dr. Zeus, Sports Stars, and Globe Trotting. Take your time. Decide the category that you want to choose. Um, what do you think? Number two. Globe Trotting. Globe Trotting, right? I'm, I'm asking my help. I got, I got my help over there. Yeah, you got your them, support so. team over there. What do they say? What do you think? Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to go with Globetrotten. Globetrotten. Yeah. All right. You like to travel? Yes, I do. I do. So hopefully I know a little bit something okay. about this. If I don't, panic button. It's right there for you. You never know. I'm going to name a country see. that shares the land border with only one other country. You tell me the name of the sole country it borders. If you can get four of the ten correct, You'll win $5,000, and you'll avoid your downfall. You ready, guys, to see Robbie win some money? And some ice cream? Start the belt. Canada. United States. Correct. South Korea. North Korea. Correct. Haiti. Um, let's see, what is Haiti next? Dominican Republic. Correct. Qatar. Um, Kazakhstan. Uh, Libya. Colombia. Next pass. Denmark. Um, no. Next, pass, pass. Pass. Portugal. Spain. Correct, you got it. You got it. <laughs> I've never seen someone so sad to win $5,000. That ice cream medal. I but you know what? She's, she's trying. You guys really are upset about the ice cream falling over the edge. But the good news is, with $5,000, you can buy probably five years' worth of ice cream. It's fine. I saw my dishes. All right? Leave the ice cream for the rats of Los Angeles. Woo! You got $5,000.
Plus you got a wet bar. Plus you got a kitchen cookware set. That's not bad for five minutes of work. Oh, let's see the ones that you missed. Okay. Guitar. That's Saudi Arabia, which is where you're from. Oh my God. Wow, wow. I'm embarrassed. It's okay, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> you missed one more. Denmark is Germany. But look at all the stuff you won. Look at this great I know, stuff. I'm happy. It's okay. All right, I mean, come on. Okay. Let's back up the belt, put some new prizes on here for Robbie. But now you have a decision to make, okay? You've got yeah. $5,000. The wet bar, the kitchen cookware set. You can walk away with all of that right now, okay. or you can stay here and play some more downfall. If you decide to stay, you could win these wonderful new prizes. A popcorn cart, a poker table, and a tool chest, with of course the most important thing being $10,000 in cash. The game gets tougher as you move along. You're gonna have to answer five questions correctly, and the belt is gonna speed up. Okay. If you go for it and lose, you lose okay. everything. If you stay and win the next round, you'll keep all the prizes that you won instead of five thousand dollars. Like I said, it's gonna double to ten thousand dollars. Okay, got it. Okay? Got it. Double, just like you and your twin. Right. Double the pleasure, double the fun. So Robbie, I'm gonna ask you, are you gonna stay here and play some more, or are you gonna walk away? I've gotta keep playing. I've gotta keep playing. All right, so Robbie's going to stay and play for $10,000. Will she be able to do it? We'll find out after the break. Stay tuned for more Downfall. won $5,000 along with a new kitchen cookware set and a home wet bar. She lost the ice cream, though. Her and her sister were crying. But that's okay. For round two, Robbie, you're playing for $10,000 in cash. A popcorn cart, a poker table, and a tool chest. To stop the belt and save those prizes in the second round, you need to correctly answer five out of the ten questions. So if you're ready, put the categories up on the board and make your choice. Take your time. Okay. Memorable TV moments, Animal Kingdom, rock and roll singers, American legends, movie sequels, organizations, Dr. Zeus, and sports stars. Take your time. Okay, I have my panic button. I have you do. my panic it's button. It's solely your choice, Robbie. What do you think you know let's best? Go, let's go with American Legends, then. Let's okay, do it. American Legends, it is. If you win a million dollars tonight, you will be an American legend. Oh, All right. Hopefully. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to ask you some questions about legendary Americans. Some are true historical figures. Others are based on folklore. If you can name five out of the ten legendary Americans, you'll win $10,000. And yes, and you'll avoid your downfall. Okay, you understand? Yeah. Start the belt. Seamstress believed to have sewn the first U.S. flag. Um... Clara Barton, no, no, not Clara Barton. Um, oh God, pass. I don't know why I can't. Outlaw assassinated by Robert Ford. Pass. Female Titanic survivor dubbed unsinkable. Kate Winslet. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio. Next. Powhatan's daughter who saved John Pocahontas. Smith. Correct. General surrendered at Appomattox Courthouse. Pass. Subject of Longfellow's poem about a midnight ride. Paul Revere. Correct. Famously ended 1775 speech with Give Me Death. Paul Revere, Give Me Death. Patrick Henry. Inventor of bifocal glasses. Ben Franklin. Giant with a blue ox named Babe. Um, you still have your panic button. Just show them guide of the Lewis and Clark expedition. You still have your panic button. You still have your panic button. Okay. I got four. Now that was close. You got four out of the five questions right, but you needed to get five. Let's see the questions that you didn't get. Seamstress believed that. it's on the U.S. first flag. Betsy yeah. Ross. Outlaw assassinated by Robert Ford. Jesse James. Yeah. Female Titanic survivor dubbed unsinkable. Molly Brown. Kate Winslet is an actress. <laughs> she wasn't really on the Titanic. I was not thinking. That was this just is a movie. You guys. 
General surrendered at Appomattox Courthouse. General Lee. Yeah, you got it, Robert E. Lee, General that's right. Lee. And the final one you missed was the giant with the blue ox named Babe, Paul Bunyan. That's maybe a northern thing. That's like a Canadian thing. I knew that one. I know. OK, sorry about that, That's guys. That's all right. You hit the panic yeah. button, which means you still got a chance to win $10,000. Right. We're going to back everything up, but now you have to make a decision and add one item to the belt. Is it going to be your supporter, your twin sister, or will it be your personal possession that you brought from home? Which one will it be? I think I'm going to go with my personal possession. OK. Slumped out. Got a lovely alley in January <laughs> bringing it out right now. What is your personal possession, Robbie? You know, it's just a, a little childhood collage of my sister and I growing up. And as you can see, we were tomboys a little bit. And you know, it's obviously they're old pictures, and I put it together and I, I keep it in my bedroom. So it's it's gonna be really, really sad to lose this. So hopefully I don't. Now which one is you? Uh, oh, it's one. tough to tell. This one or I'm this the one, one on the left. I'm the one on the left. What's your sister's name? Sam. Sam? Sam, yeah, so got, she's on the Sam right, is, right up Sam there. Sam is there and Robbie is there. Yeah. Okay, ladies, put, put this on the belt. And we are going to play so well, Robbie, that you're not even going to have to okay. worry about it going over, right? Hopefully. If you stop the belt before the photo collage goes over, you get it back safe and sound. You put it back up on your wall. Okay. And if you answer five questions correctly, you also get $10,000. So let's put the categories up and let's see which one you're going to choose. <laughs> The audience has opinions. Sam has opinions. The only one that matters is yours. Take your time. Oh, I'm getting distracted. I, I, would, I think I'm going to go with movie sequels. I'm OK on movie. OK. I still have another. Don't forget. Another, exactly. Still you still have panic one panic button. left, OK? I'm not sure if I'm too good at this, but we'll see. All right, we're going to we'll see. We'll see. So. The category is movie sequels. I'll give you the title of a movie sequel. You name the movie that immediately preceded it. If you can name five of the ten movies, you'll win $10,000 and avoid your downfall and stay right here with us tonight. Come on, guys. We need some help. She needs some love. Give us some love. Start the belt. The Born Supremacy. Uh, born Identity. Correct. The Dark Knight. Um, pass. Bill and Ted's Bogus pass. Journey. The Matrix Revolutions. The Matrix Reloaded. Correct. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Pass. Staying Alive. Pass. Dawn of the Dead. Pass. The Road Warrior. Pass. They Call Me Mr. Tibbs. Pass. The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Correct. The Dark Knight. Pass. Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Pass. The Good, the Bad, and the Pass. Ugly. Staying Alive. Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the, uh, uh, pass. The Road Warrior. Pass. They call me Mr. Tibbs. OK, she hit her panic button. Smart choice, Robbie. I didn't know those That one stumped you. That was Movies tough. These aren't me. I didn't Movies know those. aren't you. But yet you chose it. You needed to get five right. You didn't do that. Let's see the ones that you missed. The Dark Knight. Batman Begins. Right. Yeah. Right. Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. I don't know. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Keanu Reeves. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly for a few dollars more. Staying Alive. Saturday Night Fever. John Travolta. You remember that with the white yeah. suit and everything yeah. like that? Yeah. Dawn of the Dead would be Night of the Living Dead. Right. The Road Warrior. Mad Max. They call me Mr. Tibbs in the heat of the night. So we are here on top of the skyscraper in the heat of the night right now. And you've hit the second panic button, which means this time you have to put your supporter onto the belt. So we're going to bring your twin sister, Sam. She's going to help you out. And we're going to see if you can win $10,000 when we come back right here on Downfall. Stay with us. This is going to be huge. $5,000, and she also won some great prizes, a new kitchen cookware, home wet bar, but it's been a tough night. She went for $10,000, she had to hit the panic button, and now her twin sister Sam is on the belt with me. A little bit nerve-wracking, isn't it? It's pretty nerve-wracking, Chris, but we're going to do this. We're going to do this. You guys going to work together with some of those weird together. twin powers? We're going to try to make this happen. 
think each other's thoughts. Telepathy, telepathy. Telepathy. <laughs> How do you feel having your twin sister here, Robbie? Confident, I know. It's fine. I mean, she needs your help. You she guys... needs my help. She's my other half. She's my best friend. I want her to win. But we um, want her to win, too. Yeah. We want her to win. gotta make it happen. You gotta make it happen. Now, Robbie, remember, Sam can help you as long as she can, but this is very important. Yeah. The answer has to come from you. So you can shout out as many answers as you want, okay. but you have to say the answer for it to count. Okay. And Sam, you can help Robbie as long as possible, even if you're dangling at the end of that precipice of a 100-foot drop beneath <gasps> you. But once you drop, Robbie, you're on your own. She's gone, you're here. And you guys need to go over a category, pick one that you both know something about. We want to see you win $10,000. Use that telepathy, okay? Take your time. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Memorable TV moments, Animal Kingdom, rock and roll singers, organizations, Dr. Zeus, and sports stars. Choose wisely, Robbie and Sam. This could be your last chance to win. What do you yeah. think? Do you want it to Animal Kingdom? Do you think that we can do that? Or do you think that we should stick to sports? Do you know animals? I mean, <laughs> animals are animals. <laughs> Everyone knows animals. You know what? Let's go with Animal Kingdom. Brenda. Animal Kingdom, okay. You feel comfortable with that, Sam? All right. I'll name two species or breeds of a particular animal. You tell me the animal. If you can name five of the animals, you'll win $10,000 okay. and avoid your downfall. Here we go. Spectacled. Bear. Bear. Correct. Green anaconda and king cobra. Snake. Snake. Correct. Loggerhead and Olive Ridley. Uh, a lizard. A lizard. Crocodile. Uh, uh, Weimariner and Cocker Spaniel. Dog. Correct. Julia and Zebra Longwings. Zebra. Zebra. Bird. Horse. Pass. What is that? Bottlenose and Spinner. Dog. Dolphins. Correct. Appaloosa and Clydesdale. No idea. Uh, pass. Waddell and pass. Rings. Rings. We need one more. Humpback and Beluga. Wow. You got it. Stop the bell. Toes. Right. She was that close to going over the edge. She's swinging back and forth like a pendulum, but it doesn't matter. You did it. Guys, let's take a look at the ones that you missed. Loggerhead and Olive Ridley. That is a turtle. Julia and Zebra long wings. Girls, zebras don't have wings, <laughs> but you. butterflies do. Sam, give me a butterfly imitation. Look at that. That's cute. Appaloosa and Clydesdale. They're horses. Uh, Weddell and Ringed are seals. And that's it. But it doesn't matter about the ones you missed, because the ones that you got earned you ten thousand dollars. You kept Sam here up here with us. It's decision time again, Robbie. You can walk away with ten thousand dollars, the kitchen cookware, and the home wet bar right now, or you can stay here and play. If you do that, the next round the game will get tougher. You'll need more correct answers, and the belt's gonna move even faster. If you go for it and lose, you lose everything. If you stay here and win the next round, you'll keep all the prizes you've won, and instead of $10,000, you'll have $25,000 in cash. And not only that, if you go for it and win the $25,000, that money is guaranteed. Let's get Sam off the belt, and then you can make your decision, Robbie, okay? So, Robbie, are you gonna stay? and play, or are you gonna walk away? Think about it. You know what? What do you think, audience? But don't forget, though, if you play for $25,000 and win, you get to keep that no matter what happens. You know what? I think I'll take the cash. So Robbie's gonna keep the $10,000, the wonderful prizes, congratulations. That's all the time we have for tonight. Thank you for joining us on the most exhilarating, heart-pounding, adrenaline-pumping show you've ever seen from the downtown skyscraper right here in Los Angeles. Let's take a look at some highlights. There's been some incredible highs and some amazing lows right here in Downfall. All right, Nicole, start the bell. Home to Old Faithful. Yellowstone. Correct. The 2009's most visited national park. If you want $1 million, what would you do? Well, I'm getting married in two months. Oh, so. get... This call appears about every 76 years. Haley's coming. Frank, we start the bell. Yeah! And dancing. Stop being the sponsor of first ever ESPN's Extreme Games. Stop! <laughs> he's standing on the edge of a 100-foot fall, but he's saved him just in time! 
Family Secrets starts now.